How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the new Steam recording feature and how to use it on your system, whether you're looking to do full length gameplay recordings, quick and easy shareable clips, or just would like to look back on a gaming session. The brand new Steam recording feature is absolutely fantastic. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up, use it. So by the end of this video, you can quickly and easily jump into the Steam recording feature, share clips with friends, or even chuck them into a more extensive video editor. You can do all of that and more, even from devices such as the Steam Deck. So this works on both Windows and Linux and works on practically all hardware. It's all embedded inside of Steam, so if you have Steam installed, you're good to go and set this up. Stop paying full price for Windows today and get activated from as little as $16 using WhoKeys. Use the links in the description down below, choose from Windows 10, Windows 11 or Office Keys, add to checkout, use code PAN20 at checkout for an additional 25% off your order and to help support the channel, pay via a secure payment method including PayPal. Once purchased, your key will be available immediately. Head over to activate Windows, paste the key, will then have access to all Windows features and no more watermark. The Windows 10 keys will also allow you to upgrade to Windows 11. Use the links in the description down below and a massive thanks to WhoKeys for sponsoring this video. All you need to do is head into Steam on your device or your PC, going to the top left hand side, clicking Steam and going down to Settings. On the left hand side, scroll down, you should then be able to see Game Recording. If you don't currently see Game Recording available on your system, all you need to do is navigate up to the Interface tab. On the right hand side, go to Client Beta Participation, go to the drop down menu for this and select the Steam beta update. Head back into the settings and on the left hand side you'll then be able to find the game recording tab. You'll then be presented with three options. You'll have off slash don't record. Anytime you want to disable this functionality in Steam all you need to do is head to this tab and select off. The main option most people will want to use which will easily allow you to watch back your previous gameplay sessions at your desired length whether it's 30 minutes, 60 minutes or even multiple hours. Quickly and easily create multiple clips which you can instantly share, export or send to other devices. The main option you're going to want to utilize is record in background. You can utilize record on demand but it's a bit more of a niche setting as it requires you to both start recording and stop recording and this is more typical of how OBS or Nvidia Shadowplay or AMD Relive's recording systems work. It is a useful tool but most people are going to be interested in the record in background section so we'll start there. Once recording background has been selected it will technically start recording your gameplay when you boot into any of your Steam games automatically but if you want to go deeper with this and further customize it for your personal preference and quality settings, I wouldn't really recommend setting this lower than 30 minutes. You can set this however long you wish to do so. For me, I'm going to be keeping this at 60 minutes, but most of you may want to go with 120, which is two hours. For quality, if you're planning on sharing clips or just watching back gameplay, mainly just to show people funny moments and you're not really going to use it for any sort of quality recordings, they just need to be watchable, I would leave this at the standard 12 megabit per second or potentially to save some disk space, maybe go down to 7.5, but I wouldn't recommend going lower than that. If you're someone that really cares about quality and you just want these to look as good as possible 24 megabit per second highest preset and it's still pretty decent on file size so you'll need to make that decision for yourself i'm going to be sticking with 12 megabit per second the disk space calculation on the right hand side is the maximum amount of disk space this will ever take up because it's constantly going to be re-recording over itself at the length you set it to raw recordings folder feel free to leave this at default but for any reason if you would like to change where the raw recordings are saved to you can change that at any time by selecting change folder there's no particular reason why you would need to, but it's there if you want to change it. Enable GPU hardware encoding. This will make sure that you have the most minimal performance impact from running this, and it runs all of the hardware encoding off of your GPU and not other system resources. For your shortcut hotkeys, also have an additional key to be able to set a marker. This means when you're playing one of your favorite games and you get a funny clip, cool clip, or something you would like to share, at any time, just press Control and F12. You'll then hear a small feedback sound, which will then notify that a marker has been placed. And when you're done playing and looking back at your footage, you'll be able to see those markers to quickly and easily navigate to points you would like to clip. You don't have to use them, it's just a decent quality of life feature that they've included. Last but not least is your audio recordings. You can choose to have this record your microphone with the game audio if you wish to do so, alongside what audio you would like the application to capture. If you want all of your system sounds such as YouTube, Spotify, Discord, everything coming through your speakers, select all system audio. Or alternatively, select game and selected programs. Any programs that are currently emitting audio to your system will be listed here where you can then select and deselect the ones you would like to record. Once that's all set up and good to go, you're now ready to jump into any of your favorite games and Steam background recording will immediately start. You don't have to press any other buttons as long as the top option here has been selected and it's highlighted blue. It's running in the background and recording your gameplay so you can instantly jump back into it. At any time during your game, if you would like to make clips without even tabbing out, press shift and tab to open the Steam overlay where you can then access all of the controls to watch back your previous set period of time that you've recorded instantly 
separately or choose to make clips. Alternatively, if you're done playing your game and you would like to watch back the session to get some clips, head to the game you were just playing, navigate down, you'll then be able to see the post game summary. So for me, I was playing Overwatch 2 earlier and you can see that I have an 18 minute recording here. Just double click on it. I mentioned earlier on that you can set markers using Control and F12 and you can see that I actually set two of them. Clicking on the marker will bring you immediately to the point where I clicked the button to set the marker. You don't have to use the markers, but they're super useful just to navigate around and find reference points. You can simply just scroll around through the timeline like you could with a typical video file or a video on YouTube, scrolling to different points. You can also choose to skip forward, skip back, pause, play. You have audio controls. You can also set your own custom markers after the fact. So for instance, I would like to set a marker here. All I need to do is press the button. You'll then get that audio feedback letting you know that you have placed a marker. To create and share clips, it's super easy to do and you can create as many as you want to. All you need to do is find where you would like your clip to start. For me, I'm going to choose this position because we get a pretty decent team kill and team wipe. Once you're at the start of where you would like to start the clip, go to the bottom right and select clip. You'll then see this small yellow section come up. This is going to show you the start of the clip and the end of the clip. And you can adjust the start just by click holding and dragging to the left or right and you can adjust the end by doing the exact same thing. So I'm going to let this play out just to make sure that I get the full duration of the clip and I can also watch it back just to double check that I'm actually clipping everything that I wanted. I'm not ready for the clip to end just yet. I'm going to wait until this moment and I'm happy for the clip to end so I'm going to press pause. As you can see our playhead is slightly further to the right so this clip is currently too short so I'm going to drag the end of it just to match up and I'm then happy with that clip so I'm then going to go to the bottom right hand side and select save slash share. First up we have two saving options. You can either save inside of Steam so you can go back to your post game summary and access those video files directly with inside of Steam quickly and easily. Or alternatively, you can choose to just export the video file out of Steam and save it as a normal MP4 video file anywhere on your PC. I'm going to call it Overwatch 2 Team Kill and just make sure it has .mp4 at the end, then just select save. And just like that, we then have an mp4 file that we can do anything with. We can just double click on it and watch it back with inside of Windows as you would with a normal video file, or you can drag and drop this into your favorite applications like Discord, upload it to YouTube, or put it in video editors like DaVinci Resolve, or just keep it on your hard drive just to watch back as a funny moment in the future. But if you'd like to quickly and easily share the clip with other people, you have a few different options available to you under the share section. First up is copy to clipboard. This works in a very similar way to screen screenshots, all you need to do is go into one of your favorite messaging apps or wherever you'd like to paste the video and just then hit Control and V or right click and paste after you click this. Send to other device is a simple and easy way to send this video to other devices across your network or that you may have signed into Steam on. Send to phone will allow you to immediately send the clip to the phone which has your Steam mobile app installed on. Or alternatively, you can create a QR code which you can then scan with your phone's camera to bring up the clip. You also have options at the bottom to send this directly to any of your Steam friends via Steam chat. Just click the friend you'd like to send this to. They'll then be able to see this embedded in their Steam chat without having to download anything. And last but not least, the most useful option out of the lot of them, in my opinion, is create a share link. It can take a few seconds to complete, but this will give you a temporary link that you can send to anyone and they will then be able to watch that video back within two days for any reason. What you need to do is select copy link or show QR code, paste it to whoever wants to watch it. For instance, I've just pasted this into my web browser, so this is what it would look like when you send it over to someone and you can just play it like a normal video file. And after two days, the video clip will be gone. It's an incredibly efficient way to just quickly share a video clip with somebody without having to find somewhere to upload it. I also recently played a game of Counter-Strike 2. If you don't see it immediately inside of your post game summary, scroll down ever so slightly towards the bottom right hand side where you'll then be able to find recordings and screenshots. If you see this logo, double click on it, you should then be able to see the game in which you played earlier. One easy way to find all of your recordings is to navigate to one of your most played games that you more than likely have screenshots in. For me, I'll just use Overwatch 2. Go to the bottom right hand side, then underneath any screenshots or media that may be present, go to the manage button. Once you're inside of here, go to the top left hand side to the game and select all games. Inside of here you can see all of my CS screenshots including my background recordings and clips that I've created and I can access that recording just through this tab to quickly and easily find background recordings or clips at any time. Find the position in the timeline where you would like your clip to start, select the clip button, let it play out, find the desired length of the clip that you would like to save by adjusting the end or the beginning of the clip go to the bottom right to save and share, then use any of those convenient options to share it or save it however you would like. And if you would like to make more inside of the same recording, well again, just go to the point in the timeline where you would like the new clip to start. The easiest way in my opinion to do this is then to press cancel on your old clip once you've presumably saved it or shared it. Go to the new position, select clip, go to the end position where you want the clip to end, let it play out and once you're happy with it, go to save and share at the bottom and just like that, you can create multiple clips quickly and easily. You may also be wondering in this Counter-Strike 2 recording why there's a 
bunch of different markers at the bottom. I didn't set any of these markers. CS2 is the first game to launch with extended support for game recording, so you get all of these automatic markers which allow you to quickly and easily navigate through different moments or the start of different rounds quickly and easily across the entire timeline built into the game automatically. Hopefully we see this extended functionality with the automatic markers come to new games in the future. I'm sure we will. That's it for the main settings for the application. If you would like to utilize the record on demand feature, remember once you have this selected, when you're playing your game and you would like to start recording, you need to press Control F11. And when you want the recording to end, you also need to press Control F11 to stop it. You'll then be able to find that recording in the same place you'll be able to find screenshots or other data for that specific game, where you can then go into the media player, create clips from that or delete it. If at any point you would like to turn off the recording functionality and or also delete all of your previous recordings over to the off slash do not record button if you then also like to delete all of your video content that you have recorded you can do so with this button at the bottom and that's it for steam game recording it's an incredibly useful and powerful tool that's available to everyone using steam earlier on in the video i did mention benchmarks to see performance with and without game recording across a few different devices to see what sort of performance impact this has to get a decent mixture of hardware high-end low-end older and newer stuff and on screen now you can see all of the FPS results both before and after and how much of a percentage decrease there is, if any. If you're looking for more optimization content, make sure to check out the playlist section in the description down below. But if you're not entirely sure where to go next, check out one of the two videos on screen and I'll see you guys over there.